animation as well. So we could just do this, copy that. There's no reason why we shouldn't do that and make a few changes. Walkerside.id, um, Walkerside.x minus map x. Now the reason why we do minus map x here is because once we've killed them, we don't want them moving at all anymore. Um, so all we do is do minus map x to um, decrement the map difference between their. Um, so instead of spawning them where the exact, ah, uh, sorry, this is complicated. So we're spawning them exactly where they were. We don't want them moving at all. That's basically the gist of it. You don't. There's me always overcomplicating things. And then the same with map y. So map y doesn't change often, but if it changes, then we uh, do something about it. And then we do g plus seven because it's an exact animation, uh, an exact image. We're not doing an actual animation. Um, and then we say int int time to flash equals db timer minus walkers i dot walking walking uh, timer and the reason why we do that is I'm not quite sure yet actually walking timer so we grab the timer from the um, Basically, we just grab the timer from the uh, the character that just got killed. So then we do flash me, and then we say we're giving it time to flash, which is time to flash that we just sent in there. And the character flash to flash is walkers. Oh crap, walkers. Beauty of copy and paste. Dot id. That's the character we want to flash. The character we just killed. So we give him the flash. And then we say, and that's the whole reason why we've got is dying, is so we can give him a last dying animation and then get rid of him. If time to, to flash is greater than 1150, so if he's been flashing for longer than uh, uh, 1.15 seconds, uh, then we do, um, we declare him as fully dead. Walkers, I dot is dying, equals false. He's no longer dying. Is dead. DB hide sprite, and that will be walkers. I dot id. Now, I reckon we should do a quick check to see any errors that we're going to find. Because if we only do that at the end, we're going to have problems. So I'm just going to have a quick look to make sure we're okay with everything. So is dying <laughs> one one five zero. Is dying equals false. Uh, walkers i dot id to flash me time to flash walkers i dot id in time to flash equals db timer minus walkers walking timer db sprite walkers i dot id walkers i dot x minus map x walkers i dot y minus map y i'm going to copy this again so i can have it and g plus seven now i'm going to have a quick rebuild just to fix any errors that we've made so seven of them and i'm pretty sure i know exactly which ones they are <laughs> oh my god i never learned this i'm terrible I am absolutely terrible at this. So once again, just a ton of um, missing uh, parentheses. Really, DB sprite that seems fine. It's really when I'm it's when I'm comparing them. All the ifs that I'm doing is just where it's happening. Um, so missing uh, this here. Actually, hang on. What am I missing? Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. It's beauty of copy and paste. So I think that is our errors fixed. So F7, and there you go. So we're just going to continue with this. So we are about almost halfway through this. Um, now all we're going to do now is just really stuff we've done before. We could do a ton of copying and pasting, but I'm not too happy about doing that. I mean, we could do, actually, we could do copying and pasting, but... Yeah, I think we're going to do copying and pasting. We're going to do this. Ooh, this is going to be tricky. Collision events. We're gonna have to check everything that we we'll copy and paste to make sure we're right. So collision events. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by uh, co getting ready to copy stuff off the character events. Um, sorry, not character events. The uh, physics, our fire movement. So what we're gonna do is start by copying a few things because this next bit is exactly the same as that. Um, and we're gonna start by copying gravity in. All right. Fine movement. Copy gravity in there. And what we're going to do, obviously, instead of fine movement, we're going to have enemy fine movement. Now, we're going to double check everything to make sure we're good with it. So, for gravity here, we're going to go for in I. Um, we're going to put a for loop in here. Right? Instead of the normal gravity thing, we need a for loop, of course. We need to check if the character is alive and it exists. So, for in I. 
and instead of saying am I alive we're not going to do that uh, we're going to grab these values we're going to say put them up there so um, if walker dot is alive if uh, we've got a few things we don't need there here of course we just need to check if he's not touching the ground it doesn't matter if he's touching the ground okay that part is not relevant uh, close that so this is a bit tricky so if you're having any trouble just follow me and we'll get it right and close that and close that make sure we got our method function complete um, so so walker's eye if he's not touching the ground right so if walker's eye dot dot touching ground right is what we should have there that should be fine focus I if he's not touching the ground if he's alive and if he exists yep if he's not touching the ground then we do something about it so he doesn't jump so let's get rid of the jumping part so just do that um, and then we say if db timer um, <laughs> db timer touching ground timer yeah we don't need this touching ground timer is also unnecessary uh, we also don't need falling so what we're doing here is we're saying um, Walker's I dot old y equals so we first thing we do is restore their old position so that we can uh, put them back if he goes through the ground and then we say walker's I dot y equals walker's I dot y plus speed y and what we're doing is we're applying gravity to the player and then what we do is is a little custom collision called was there a an sorry an e n collision and make sure you do a capital W there because it's a full method so send the i in there so what we do is we then check for collision alright and I don't know if we've done that function yet we haven't but we'll write in a second so was there any end collision and that's our next one. Our next one is going to be the one we got to copy and paste, but double and triple check everything. So I'm just going to do a quick build on this, make sure we're okay with that. One error, and I'm pretty sure I can guess which one it is. No, it's not. It's the error we should be getting anyway. So we go back to find movement, and we're going to copy the whole static player collisions function. That's what we need to copy. So copy only that, all right? And uh, I'll let you know exactly what we need to do. So. <clears throat> it's going to be a bit tricky, but we'll make sure we get this right and get rid of any uh, Mario uh, things. So we're just going to go over it quickly, and you're going to make any changes that I make if that's okay with you. So uh, what this one accepts, uh, we're going to call this. Was there any end collision? And it's going to accept an element, all right? So int element, all right, and it accepts an element. And um, what we're going to do here is we're going to go in left uh, left arm now and the reason why we're doing this is because we had so many problems with the first one and all we have to do on this one is make a few changes walkers element right dot x is what we're doing here alright so get ready to just copy this with the element because that's what we're going to be using um, and we're going to be using this as well that's fine uh, dot x uh, divided by tile size x that's fine and wherever you see player x we're going to do dot element dot x divided by tile size minus one that's fine tile size x and then we're going to do top tile num walkers yes yeah, so once again dot y this time right divided by tile size y that seems fair to me yep um, and then here play it once again dot y minus tile size y minus one tile size y we're going to do this so old x one that's that's going to be dot old x and once again dot old x on that one. Now th the reason why we're doing this and copying and pasting is because we've already written this whole function. I've already explained to you what it does. So there's absolutely no reason why we have to write it again from scratch. So um, the old y. The next one is Walker's Almond the old y at old top down num. Yep, the old y. Y. And then once again the old y on that last part. Um, and that seems fair enough to me. So we use. Um, uh, dot x instead of player x dot uh, dot y instead of player y uh, dot old x instead of uh, old x one and that seems very good to me that's usually a bad thing um, but yeah I think that's okay now what we're going to do is as usual we're going to do um, ball collided with so was there a, a collision 
um, and then we're going to do if map uh, just like we've done here so far so um, type of collision equals zero now we don't need type of collision on this one so let's get rid of that call x we need call y we need um, so once again we're going to replace every time we see a walkers.x uh, uh, player x sorry with uh, walkers.x and we're going to remove any instances of map x dot um, equals old x so resetting map x we can't be doing that so if map x equals is greater or equal than 10 yep left down or top down if walkers element dot x equals um, yeah so dot old x so if there was a, coll a collision we position them at old x so was there a collision we say yes uh, we don't care about what type of collision was it so actually do it yeah we do yeah, we do my bad so collide with uh, equals true yep that seems fair enough to me um, and we want to copy these into here right because that's the way we've got things on the tutorial we don't want to modify them so um, all instances are jumping so let's just remove some of this stuff so all instances are jumping we don't want all things where it mentions the old map x we don't want that either so let's get rid of all the jumping um, if jumping equals true everything else we should probably keep uh, jumping we don't care about that type of collision um, do we care about what type of collision it is I believe we do not if we do I'll add that I'll add that later um, all the collided widths if you see collided width then you put it on the top part uh, again remove uh, stupid map X from the whole thing because you don't care about it um, ready because you collided with uh, collided with uh, we once again put it up here and that's it now let's just go over every single one of them to make sure we've got this right <coughs> so walkers dot element x um, <laughs> compare it set it to old element x that's fine collided with equals true collided with x equals left arm num that's fine because that works correctly for the first one so we'll keep that as it is next one is greater than uh, once again let's just copy this here so we can do that so walkers dot e y equals dot old y alright dot old y old y oops y there you go um, type of collision is irrelevant as I said so let's get rid of that uh, collided with equals true and we keep these um, I don't think it matters actually yeah just leave that there that's fine I mean if this is fine as well but if we do have a problem we'll fix that I'm pretty sure we won't um, next one uh, if we go on the next one here so that one's done this one what we do once again dot x equals dot old x that seems fine to me map x does not get touched so remove that like I said um, and that is all fine so really all it is is just replacing I want to make sure I do this 100% right though that's why um, so dot y equals old y I don't want to make stupid mistakes here as I usually do type of collision once again irrelevant um, old right tail num top tail num and once again dot x equals old x so I hope this is actually saving us time and not giving us more time so what was it before yeah old x that's fine um, collided with equals true so it did collide with something uh, once again play y uh, dot y equals dot old y old y um, touching ground equals true uh, is that relevant do we have touching ground uh, we do have touching ground so what we're doing here is we're saying what is I dot touching ground equals true so he's hit a bottom tile so we call it as in he's touching the ground um, therefore we reset the old y yep that's fine touching ground timer do we have a touching ground timer for these guys we do not um, we didn't set one of those I don't think we need it anyway but um, uh, touching ground timer we don't need that so let's go that to the next one so if type, type of collision equals top do we care about that we do not care about that um, player x dot x equals old x dot old x uh, collided with equals true yep uh, that's fine uh, once again we do that dot touching ground timer we'll remove the db timer instance so if you're getting confused by this at all just follow what I'm doing go back if you have to it's not a problem uh, collided with um, equals true yep that's fine that's fine and this should be alright let's just check the end part now we don't want to touch map x at all so leave that out um, and what we're doing here is we're doing the same check but 